The E-Move Cruiser and E-Move Touring are two of our most popular scooters, but we find that sometimes people have a hard time deciding between the two. Welcome to Vora Motors. Today we will be discussing 10 differences between the E-Move Cruiser and E-Move Touring that you should know. Number 10. Charging Time When it comes to charging time, the Touring juices up in a quick 3-4 to four hours. The Cruiser takes 9-12 to 12 hours to fully charge, but you'll understand why after we cover the next few sections. Number 9. Range The Cruiser may take a while to charge, but its range makes it so you don't have to charge up as often. The Cruiser provides 62 miles of range on a single charge while the Touring runs you only 25 miles on a single charge. Number 8. Aesthetics and Features Both scooters are available in the same color options of red, purple, orange, black, and white. One of the significant differences between the two scooter designs is that the Cruiser has turn signals while the Touring does not. Number 7. Weight The Touring weighs only 39 pounds while the Cruiser weighs 52 pounds. Both scooters are relatively light considering the other options for electric scooters on the market. Number 6. Brakes Equipped with front and rear brake calipers, the Cruiser provides a very nice braking system. The Touring operates on a drum braking system and only on the rear motor. If you've used a drum system before, then you'll know that it is a reliable system, but for some, the feel of a caliper is worth it. Number 5. Water Resistance The Cruiser and Touring are both water resistant but not waterproof. The Cruiser is rated IPX6, while the Touring is rated IP54. The Cruiser is designed to handle more exposure to strong sources of water, however, we still recommend not testing the limits. To reiterate, water resistant, not waterproof. Number 4. Weight Capacity If you are looking for a sturdy scooter, look no further than these two options. The Cruiser can carry riders up to 352 pounds, and the Touring carries up to 330 pounds. No matter which option you go with, you can rest assured that your scooter can get you where you need to be. Number 3. Portability Both scooters fold up and are capable of locking in their folded positions. With each having this great feature, the deciding factor comes down to which folding mechanism you prefer. The cruiser's folding mechanism is based around pulling this knob back, which pulls the pin in the middle section. The touring system relies on pushing this lever down, which lifts this pin on either side. Number 2. Price. For many people, the biggest deciding factor will be cost. The Cruiser comes in at $1,399 and the Touring comes in at $899. Thanks to this low price, the Touring is one of our most accessible scooters for most new riders. Number 1. General Use. The needs of your ride will dictate which scooter is right for you. The E-Move Touring has ridiculously quick charging times, a light overall weight, and a price that few electric scooters can beat. It's the perfect scooter for short work commutes, first time riders, and riders of any size. The E-Move Cruiser has amazing range, speed, and overall strength. If you plan on going for adventures around town or in varied terrain, then you might want the extra power that the Cruiser provides. No matter which scooter you go with, you'll be making the right decision. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe.